What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I want to go over a very simple yet successful keyword research process. And the four different steps in this process include finding your keywords and topics, breaking down and subcategorizing your keywords and topics into long tail keywords and subtopics, understanding search intent, what ranks for the actual keywords that you're targeting, and then planning your content using your keyword list. So I'm gonna use a quick example from my website, farmhousegoals.com. I'm gonna be using about three or four different examples in this video to go over some different types of industries and different examples depending on what it is that you're selling. So for my website, farmhousegoals.com, if we come in here, I'm in my farmhouse bedding shop page. This is a category page where if we scroll down, there's a bunch of different bedding sets for sale that people can purchase. If we scroll up, you're gonna see all of these are different subcategories. So just within this main keyword that I'm targeting, farmhouse bedding, you can see all of the different subcategories I have here for different styles, sizes, seasonal bedding, pretty much anything people are searching for related to bedding sets in a farmhouse style, I've tried to cover here. So the ultimate goal is to understand, okay, I'm targeting some specific keywords. What do I need to present to people to make sure that my website will actually rank and that I can actually drive paid traffic to my website as well and give people a relevant experience that's gonna to lead to a high conversion rate. So if we come over here, here's a quick example of some of my keyword research for my Farmhouse Goals website. And what you're gonna see is I've broken these down in some different categories. These are some of the most popular keywords, high search volume keywords that are very, very difficult to rank for. So even if we come in here to farmhouse bedding, for example, you're gonna see I have all of these different subcategories that I need to create on my website, or I've already created a lot of them. If we keep scrolling down, you can see farmhouse comforters. So even within these subcategories, you can continue breaking them, them down into even more subcategories. Over here with farmhouse light fixtures, you can see lamps, and I've broken that down into farmhouse lamps. Farmhouse floor lamps, farmhouse pendant lights. So these really popular keywords, you need to understand I need to find the main keywords and topics that people are searching to find, in this case, my products. I need to find all of these different long tail keywords for those products. So if I wanna rank for the keyword farmhouse bedding, then I need to make sure when people come into my website, they can see, okay, there's all these different subcategories here, all of these products. So if I'm looking for a specific style of bedding, I can click in here and hopefully find what I'm looking for. If I'm looking for comforters, for example, I can click on the comforters page which is gonna bring me to a page that has all sorts of different subcategories as well. So this is one of the main strategies with keyword research is understanding if you wanna rank for these short tail keywords, you need to cover these topics in a comprehensive and complete manner if you're gonna have any chance of ranking for some of these short tail keywords. Now search intent is very important as well because People may be looking for different things depending on what they're actually typing into search engines. So you need to understand when I'm targeting this keyword with a specific page, when I plan my content, I need to make sure I am solving for search intent. So if we come over here, you can see here is a Surfside PPC video and blog keywords and content ideas. So I'm trying to find all sorts of different keyword and content ideas for my YouTube channel and for my blog. So if I take a keyword like Facebook ads optimization, there's a lot of different ways that you can go with this from creating an optimization checklist, creating some different best practices. But one of the things I'll do when I'm targeting different keywords is I'm gonna look at the exact keyword here. So we're in Google searching Facebook ads optimization. We scroll down here past the advertisements and you're gonna see how to optimize Facebook ads, 10 tips and tricks from the pros. Now this is specifically from Facebook, so a lot of times I'll look at what's ranking that's not on Facebook's website. Optimization hacks, 16 expert tips, how to optimize Facebook ads to skyrocket your conversion. So clearly what I need to do is put together a list, a checklist of different types of Facebook ads optimizations. And you can see over here, even if we're using a tool like Keywords Everywhere, we can find even more long tail keywords and this can be really useful as you're trying to build out an outline for your actual blog article or for the video that you're creating or whatever type of content that you're creating. So you need to understand whether it's trying to rank for a keyword like Facebook ads or if I'm trying to rank for a keyword like farmhouse bedding, I need to understand the search intent behind that keyword and then solve for that search intent. In this case, I'm just putting lists of products for sale for all of these different categories. In this case, I need to create 
useful and helpful content about the Facebook ads platform. For Surfside PPC, the point of creating this content around these different keywords is someone can go into my website and I can maybe book a new client. So somebody can say, okay, they know a lot about Facebook ads. They know how to optimize Facebook ads. I'm struggling with my campaign. I'm going to contact Surfside PPC. In the case of farmhouse goals, I try to get people on a page like Modern Farmhouse Bedding. They look through all the different bedding sets. Hopefully they purchase something from my website. The whole goal with keyword research is to understand what people are looking for, looking for the main keywords and topics that people use when they are searching for your products, your services, your information, whatever it may be. And all of that should be reflected in your content plan. So let's use an example and let's just say I am a florist. So I'm opening a new florist shop and let's say I'm opening it in Phoenix, Arizona. So if I come over here, we're using the Google Ads Keyword Planner now, some of the, my favorite keyword tools that I would say I use the most often, free, completely free keyword tools, or at least they have free versions that are very useful. The Google Ads Keyword Planner is available through the Google Ad, through your Google Ads account, completely free to use. You can discover new keywords and find thousands of keywords for your business. Keywords everywhere, I install the Chrome plugin, and that is what I was using earlier to find long tail keywords here on the right hand side. This will work for YouTube, it'll work for Amazon, it'll work for pretty much any search engine you can think of. So keywords everywhere will literally give you keywords everywhere you go and find all sorts of long tail keywords depending on what it is you're researching. Keyword surfer, pretty similar to keywords everywhere, but if we also come over here and we have our Facebook ads optimization, we scroll to the top, let's actually refresh this page. Okay, and over on the right hand side here, usually it just pops up right above keywords everywhere, but it's over here on the right hand side. And you can see with Keyword Surfer, they're giving us all sorts of relevant keyword ideas, depending on whatever keyword we enter. There's overlap, there's search volume, so you can actually see specific search volume for different keywords. And there's a lot of other tools involved with Keyword Surfer as well. So two really good tools that you can try to use. And then last but not least, answer the public. If you're looking for specific types of questions that people may have or different ways that people use specific keywords and to the public is a very good tool and you get a few only two free searches per day you can get more free searches if you just create a free account so a few different keyword tools to try but let's say you're opening a flower shop in phoenix arizona so we're going to open up the keyword planner this will be my next example dividend investing let's say we're opening up a flower shop so i'm opening up a florist i'm offering flower delivery I have flower bouquets for sale. Maybe we'll just put flower bouquets. Okay, so we'll start with some of these different keywords here. Now you can enter every single keyword that is closely related to your business and click on get results. In this case, what we're trying to do is say, okay, we wanna make sure whatever keywords people are targeting, we are, have those keywords on our website to represent by our content, by some of the different things that we're listing on our website. So even if we come over here on the right hand side, you can see all of the different keyword or all of the different flower keywords that are very popular. So specific flowers related to florists. So we'll close that. Some different occasions that people actually get flowers. So others are gonna see some more things down here. This is not something that we're gonna use. But if we scroll down, you can see some of the most popular keywords here. So what I would generally do if I'm looking up keywords for a business like this is I will start by just opening up and saying, okay, here are the different flowers we offer. We're offering flower delivery for these different flowers we offer, bouquets for the different flowers we have. Here are all the different occasions where people can get delivery flowers from us. And here are all the different colors of bouquets and flowers that we have. So if someone's looking for white flowers or red flowers or whatever it may be, we can make sure that we have a page on our website to show that. Using just some of these different categories here, so just using flower delivery, bouquets, occasions, colors, what I was able to do is come up with this. So let's say these are all the flowers I'm offering at my florist in Phoenix. I want people to know they can shop directly at my flower shop. I also offer flower delivery. So when people are going into Google and searching florist near me, flowers near me, flower shop near me, or flower delivery, send flowers, arrangements, so any of these different keywords that people are constantly searching throughout the day, I need pages on my website for them. So here are all the different occasions that I came up that people will actually send flowers. And what you can do is by using this information here of the flowers you offer, the different types of delivery you offer for the different occasions, 
I was able to take some of those main topics, we broke them down into our subtopics, and now what we're doing is we come over here, we need to understand search intent, what's ranking for these keywords, and now it's time to use our keyword list to plan our content. So we scroll down here, here are the pages I'd create on my website. The bold is gonna be my home page, flower shop and flower delivery in Phoenix, Arizona. So when someone's searching for a florist near them or for flower delivery in their local market, I have that page already on my website. Then I'm gonna have all these other diff different pages, all the different flowers I deliver, so carnations, daisies, lilies, all the things that people are searching, these are gonna be all the different pages I create on my website. So then we start to get into some of these occasions, so baby flowers delivery, birthday flowers delivery. Keep scrolling down, and you're gonna see all the way down here to the different colors. So we have a ton of different pages now that we can create in our website, and they're all gonna satisfy some of these really, really high search volume keywords. So we can make sure that when people are searching these things in the Phoenix, Arizona market, that we're able to actually deliver them exactly what they're looking for. And this is an easy way to go about your keyword research is to start by using the Google Keyword Planner and then coming down here and saying, okay, well, we need a page on our website for Mother's Day delivery. We need a page on our website for same day flower delivery. We need people to know they can send flowers to people. We need to, people to know here are all of our different funeral flower arrangements. So you can find all of these different ideas just by using the Google Keyword Planner. And then what you're gonna do is say, okay, based on all these keywords, based on wedding bouquets, I can say here are wedding bouquets for sale in Phoenix, Arizona. Here are wedding bouquets you can get delivered directly on your wedding day for Phoenix, Arizona. So you're able to say we can solve whatever problem you have and you're just looking at keywords that people are searching for and you are creating solutions by understanding that search intent. Now my other example that I'm gonna go over very quickly is gonna be dividend investing. Let's just say I wanna write about dividend investing, dividend stocks, dividend strategy. So if we come in here and we're looking at keywords by relevance, what I quickly figured out is I need to create a ton of different lists of the best dividend stocks. So if we say, okay, dividend stocks is getting 60,000 monthly searches. If I want to rank for the keyword dividend stocks, then let's say make sure the keyword text contains dividend stocks. We're going to click on apply. And just by looking at these keywords here, I can come up with different content that I can create on my website. The best dividend stocks for 2023 and beyond high dividend stocks that are good long-term investments, monthly dividend stocks, stocks to invest in today, the top dividend stocks for 2022 that you should invest in, high dividend paying stocks, again, that probably goes down to this one here, but you can find a bunch of different keywords here just by looking at the long tail keywords related to dividend stocks, and we obviously have our filter here, so it's only showing us those long tail keywords. Now, there's gonna be some old keywords here from 2021, but obviously you have to update these all every single year, cheap dividend stocks. So there's a bunch of these where we can create one article per year, and let's just say we put out 20 different articles of here are the best healthcare dividend stocks, here are the best technology dividend stocks. So I can create all of these different articles on my website, and eventually what Google and other search engines are gonna see is, hey, this website has become a very good resource to find the best dividend stocks because they have 20 different really good articles on their website, well-researched articles, where they're going at over actual dividend stocks that people are searching for. Now, let's say I wanna rank for dividend investing. You would do the same thing, but I'm gonna give you a different example. Using keywords everywhere, using keyword surfer, if we just search dividend investing, we come over here, we can see through keyword surfer, here are all the different keywords people are actively looking up. Go to the people also ask section. Click on a drop down, open it back or close it back up. Open, close, open, close. It's gonna keep giving us a ton of different questions that people have. And then you can also use answer the public. So dividend investing, scroll down. Here are all the different questions that people are searching all the time about dividend investing. When to start dividend investing, where to start dividend investing. Is it worth it? Where can I invest in dividend stocks? What dividend stock should I buy now? Which ones pay monthly? So again, what you're trying to do is come up with a list of keywords, and this is basically what I do for Surfside PPC, for Farmhouse Goals, come up with a list of keywords and say, okay, I need to create a page on my website where I have farmhouse wall sconces for sale. And then what I also need to do is I need to 
go to Google and I can just use this long tail keyword here, tool here for keywords everywhere. And let's just search. Okay, so search this keyword that I wanna target, 3,600 average monthly searches, long tail keywords, candle, for the bedroom, with a pole chain, battery, so lights, I would consider that the same. Some of these, Canada, I'm not gonna target. So what you're doing is you're trying to find the different ways that people are searching for your keywords. And you can see here by doing keyword research, finding your main topics, breaking them down into subtopics, continuously breaking down your subtopics into even more subtopics, understanding search intent, and trying to plan your content, plan the pages on your website around what people are actively searching for. In the case of the florist, I need to make sure that I have, if I use something like tulips delivery and tulip bouquets in Phoenix, Arizona, that whole page is just going to be a bunch of different tulips that I have for sale, all the different color tulips that I have for sale. You can create separate pages for red tulips, pink tulips, whatever your most popular colors are. Now, this wouldn't be my final list of pages I'd create. This is just where I'd start if I was trying to operate a florist and a flower delivery in Phoenix, Arizona, and you can continue to grow from there by using even more of these keywords on the right-hand side. These are keywords I pulled directly from the Keyword Planner. So you can see how popular a lot of these different keywords are. And you can even see if we come up to the top here and we're just looking at some of these different keywords. So floral designer. So best floral designer in Phoenix, Arizona. So you're just trying to create these pages. So somebody goes to that page and says, okay, let me give this florist to call and see if they can help me for my wedding day or for my kid's birthday party, whatever it may be that somebody wants to buy flowers for. Farmhouse goals. People are looking for products. So I create product pages where I'm selling all these different types of products. Surfside PPC. People are looking for information, education. I need to create educational content. And ultimately what you're trying to do is find the top keywords for whatever it is that you're selling, whatever information you're giving to people, and then make sure you are solving for search intent as you plan your content. The hardest part isn't the keyword research, it's creating content. I could easily come up with a huge list of keywords for dividend investing, dividend stocks, create a huge content plan in several hours. The problem is it's gonna take months or years to actually create all of this content. So focus on trying to find these top keywords, break them down into long tail keywords, and then slowly chip away at them one by one, and you will see your rankings increase. So if we just quickly go to Google Search Console for my website, farmhousegoals.com, you can see the last three months for search terms containing farmhouse bedding, they've driven 345 clicks to my website, over 22,000 impressions. That's just farmhouse bedding. That doesn't include farmhouse comforters, farmhouse quilts, duvet covers. For people who may not use the words farmhouse, may just be looking for rustic quilts or rustic comforters or rustic bedding. So all of these different keywords are because I am actively targeting them. Vintage farmhouse bedding is a page I have on my website. Modern farmhouse bedding is a page I have on my website. So what you're trying to do is grow your impressions for all of these different long tail keywords. And then ultimately you're trying to get as many clicks as possible out of this farmhouse bedding short tail keyword that people are actively searching thousands of times per month. Now, the hard part about some of these different niches is I'm actually competing with Wayfair and Amazon and really, really large corporations that have much larger budgets and more resources than I do. So I really have to get down and try to find these long tail keywords and subtopics. And that's ultimately what I try to do with my PPC ads keywords with my farmhouse keywords and that's what i would try to do if i was a florist in phoenix i would just continue to try to find all of the different things people are searching for and then just solve for that search intent if you have any questions about this please leave in the comment section i wanted to give you a really simple way to look at keyword research find your top keywords break them down into long tail keywords and satisfy that search intent with your content thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the surfside ppc youtube channel